Hey guys, what I'm doing here is tying up tomato plants. We've been gone <clears throat> gone for a little while and things has kind of escalated and got out of hand. We're just playing catch up right now because we are so far behind. This is how we tie tomatoes. Make sure that they're all up. And don't worry about it if they're all bent in or something like that. The sun will straighten them up. We use the crocheting, uh, little things of crocheting yarn to actually do our tying up with. It makes it so easy because they just sit on top of a post like that. And you can pull this out, cut it right off. We've got a young plant here that we set out. We're going to try to get a few of these suckers off of it because they'll just prevent it from growing. Get these bottom leaves because... You have to realize you're not growing leaves, you're growing tomatoes. And this is one of our younger plants where one died. We're trying to get it started back. And we will usually leave uh, one sucker down lower like this to so that it will fork and make two plants as it comes up and I take my scissors a lot of times. A lot of people break those leaves off but I uh, I just take scissors and whack them off and then I go along my plants like this one. If the leaf is touching the ground any leaf is touching the ground I cut them off. Jenny Pratt this right here is what I do with my crocheting yarn I crochet tomato plants to the stakes with it. I use my own special knot system so that I'm not hurting the tomato plant. And then when the season is over, because of our climate, the yarn is actually rotten, so I don't have to worry about it. But that's what Deep South does with crocheting yarn. Okay guys, this is what happens when you get thunderstorms through. We had this one pepper plant, one of our limbs on it was loaded with Marconis. We were waiting for them to turn red and yeah, the storm come through. And like we talked about, we can't just have a rain anymore. We've got to have bad weather now. Luckily, I was able to salvage a few of the jalapenos you see here. we got some of them coming in. We just hate that we lost our Marconi here because we like for them to turn red, but We'll still salvage them and use them. We just don't get the, the full benefits of their bright red colors in our meals. This particular plant here is one that we had in the greenhouse. It was going on. This is its third year. It's two years old. We put it in the greenhouse. We brought it out for its third year. Still doing good. You know, still growing us some great peppers. It's just that this windstorm come through today with high winds. Broke off one of the limbs that was loaded down with peppers on it. This is one of our Roma tomatoes that we had growing here. The wind got a hold to it and just snapped it off right there. Even though we had it tied, that strong wind just came down in here and swirled in here and broke that plant off. Lost a lot of good growing tomatoes there. Big, beautiful, healthy plant. I hate to see it when these kind of things happen. Okay, Y'all can see here the storm that come through. is It's just going to be an every year thing for us here. We're... The sweet corn, it just knocked it over again. It wasn't as bad as it was last year. The, the sun will straighten this back up, but it just, 
It seems like every time we turn around now, if we have any kind of weather at all, it just twists up our corn and just bends it all over. It's not like it used to be. Okay, guys. This is our mole cricket we talk about here. He, we just come up here. You can after a rain is the best time to catch them. If you can see his little feet, I'm trying to get him to put his feet are like a gopher's feet. You see if I can make him. I'm trying to get him against my hand. See how he is there? His little feet are just. That's what they look like. Let's see if I can turn him over. I mean, he looks just like a regular cricket. But he's got these wide feet on the front of him, just like a little gopher. We've learned that if we come up right after a rainstorm like we did today, we can catch these things in the garden here. Something here is a little concerning to me. We just had this rainstorm. Uh, these plants were standing up real pretty before the rain, and after the rain, they're looking wilted. Uh, all of them. From plant to plant, the tops are or wilting down in them here and I'm hoping that there wasn't something in this rain now that's going to destroy my tomato plants because I mean every one I look at these top leaves here were standing up bright and pretty before the rain and now they're just all drooped okay you can see some of our blueberries starting to come in now they're gradually turning colors so this is the Alapaha variety it's one of our newer varieties here on our homestead you, you, you want to kind of get the idea of the size of these blueberries. Look at them up against my hand. This one's as big as a dime. Easy. You see that they're ready. Just a couple of them there. We are praying for a really good blueberry harvest this year. And even though the rains kind of mess the tops of the um, tomato plants up, there are lots of beautiful little tomatoes. We're just hoping there was nothing in that rain that hinders the growth because, as you can see, these tomatoes are lovely. So that's just a little bit of the tour of Deep South after the rain. Thank you, guys.